terrible. That wind had, you know, it got me. But um, it was a tough race. Prelims, I mean, I feel like just because it's Olympic year, everything is way more intense. But the, um, the field was deep. And, you know, with the weather, it was a little bit tough. But I'm really blessed with the outcome because I didn't realize how hard it is to double. Like, I give Chez, Ed, Devin, all of them, so, Shamir, so much credit. It's so difficult. The first time, you know, winning last year, I was, it's a different feel. But when you're, it's a lot of pressure this year. And then just going at it. You know, it's been difficult, but I had a lot of supporters and positivity this week. That's what really got me through it. With all the pressure, how does it feel to go back to back and, and have that in the past now? It's a blessing because I really did pray about this. Um, I was I was one with myself being that I was going to accept if I didn't do well because I know that everything happens for a reason and at the right time. But I am really blessed that I was able to accomplish this. Raven, I was shooting your family up in the stands, in particular your aunt was freaking out. Can you talk about what their energy means to you? Um, being that my mom and my godmom are here, it means a lot because I like to make my family proud. Family means a lot to me. And just knowing that my family back home is watching and my grandmother's sitting in her chair on her iPad watching me and everything, it means a lot being that I could, you know, make them proud out here far away. Raven, I mean, there's a pretty healthy tailwind coming down the back stretch. Did you kind of make your move knowing that if you caught it off 150 meters left, you might be able to kind of propel yourself to the front? Well, I made my, my move being that I just want to lay it all out there. Um, prelims, um, I'm, I'm glad it happened the way it did because I was able to learn from it, Coach Johnson and I. And so that was able to benefit to going into the finals and kind of using that, what I messed up on in prelims to my advantage to learning. What did you do in the prelims wrong? Um, in prelims, I kicked too late. Being that Olivia and Cecile have the exact same speed, and Olivia's a, I mean, Cecile's like a 53, 400 runner, as well as Olivia, you know, being having them in the field as well, I can't so-called depend on just my speed because they have the same speed too. It didn't look like anyone had your speed today. Huh? Oh, that was all just on the line. <laughs> I just had to put it out there. Really, it was just God getting me through because, like I said, that win was a little intense, and then having to make a move on the curve was a bit difficult as well. What about Do you know the your two teammates just went one, two in the 200? I'm excited. Okay, they just did. Ari, <laughs> she finishes her 100 and comes past me. It's like, it's your turn. In front of all the girls, I'm like, it's my turn. Okay, it's your turn. Yeah, you know, but having her step up because we aren't predicted to win really, just having her step up in the 100 and showing, you know, taking that leadership with the team really gave me motivation as well. Having that said, how do you feel about the team totals now? Um, I haven't really gone back to it. I'm hoping that we still win, but um, just even if we don't, it's like we work hard as a team and despite the things that are going on, we learn from it and I couldn't be any prouder of my girls. Raven, I got in here just a little bit late. Can you talk about what you felt like coming into the race today? Just yeah. Nervous, excited. Anxious. Anxious. Oh yeah, I was having a fit in the bed. I'm like, can we just get here? Because you know, I'm a visual person. I like to visualize, visualize my races. So going out there, I was really just anxious to get to that 150 so that I could just lay it all out there and not, you know, not suffer from laying it all out there too early. Um, but yeah, just anxiety. But really this year has taught me patience and to focus on myself. Yeah. Even heading into the Olympic trials, I'm trying to see what you're running. Uh -huh. uh, what do you think it's going to take to make the Olympics? Um, it's going to take something that I've never experienced before. Uncomfort. It's going to take a lot of that, but I mean, being uncomfortable is what helps me grow. Um, I know that's going to take a lot of heart and way more than talent because everyone's talented, really. But it takes a lot of heart and um, smart running since it's three rounds. <laughs> yeah. You look like you got kind of emotional after you crossed the finish line. Can you talk about what There was excitement. There was lactic acid. There was a lot of that going on. Um, you know, just tightening up in the wind. There was a lot going on, but then I just realized I was just thankful at the end of my race that that happened. Like I said, um, being in such a deep field with runners that are exactly like me and good runners like Shay Martinez and everyone, or Shay Collinsworth, that took it out there. Just 
it was this prelims well this prelims and finals was different than last prelims and finals but that's what makes every year different how so was